Hey guys, Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft, and uh, while last week I gave you uh, Dutch oven chicken, well today I'm going to give you mucket cobbler. My buddy Darren over at East Woodland Survival uh, actually made some blackberry cobbler in this mucket. It's a stainless steel mucket, and basically all this is is a New Age corn boiler, which was actually used during the, the Civil War and probably a little bit before that. Most of the time they were made out of tin. So uh, what I actually have in here, and I'll post the, the recipe when I'm done, uh, we've got a few simple ingredients that we're going to go through. And um, in here, what I have done is I've taken blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. I uh, have a cup of them, and I added a half a cup of water into the mucket. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to just add a little bit of sugar. You can use any kind of sugar that you want. Um, today, I just happen to prefer using maple sugar. If you see my Bannock recipe, okay, you know that I am a fan of the maple sugar. So, I put some in there. That's just to cut down the tartness of the berries. Okay. Now, in this bag, what I have is basically a half a cup of pre-made baking mix. Um, this just happens to be Bisquick, um, and we're going to mix in some evaporated milk. All right. and what we want to do is we want to add our milk. And we want this to be about the consistency of pancake batter. Okay, we don't want it too soupy, and yet we don't want it too thick. I'm gonna mix it right up here in the bag. bit at a time. Remember, you can always add more, but you can't take it out. Now that we have that uh, mixed up, what we're going to do is we're going to pour some in. keep some in reserve because we're going to pour that over the top. Now we're just going to mix it in. Now we're going to pour the rest over the top. Now we're going to take a little bit more sugar, sprinkle it over the top, and now she's ready for some cooking. I'm going to use some charcoal today, just to make it a little bit easier. want to put a couple of these coals on the top like we did with our Dutch oven. Take a 
couple. Because you want the top of the cobbler to cook. Now we're going to let that bad boy cook for about 15 and 20 minutes. And we will take a shot at that and see how well it goes. All right. All right, guys, it's been about uh, 20 minutes. 25 minutes I actually wound up putting a couple more coals on the top because I just wanted to make sure that uh, the top was nice and brown. Alright, so let's try to get a little good look at this. Let's see what we got working. Guys, I gotta tell you what, mine looks pretty darn good. Mm, probably as good as Darren's. Let's uh, kind of check that out here. Let's see what we got. That's looking pretty good. we go. Nice and golden brown. Sizzling all around. All right. We're going to take this out and let it cool. Don't go away. Alright guys. So we let it cool down a little bit. As you can see there. That looks pretty good. So let's go on and get us some. Look at that. That is living large right there kid. <laughs> It's still a little warm. Well, a cold glass of milk will make that a lot better. But I gotta tell you, that is all right. L I V I N G. That is living. Oh, what's with the spoon? <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna have some. <laughs> you gotta have. You didn't want no damn biscuits, but you want to eat my cobbler? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, hey, we're gonna go have some cobbler. This is Brian from Snowwalker Bushcraft. Thank you for your views and thank you for your comments. And uh, till the next one, walk the woods. <laughs>